Well, folks, we've got more drama unfolding in the state of Georgia with attorney, uh, district attorney, <clears throat> Fonnie Willis, who of course will be prosecuting Donald Trump most likely at the end of this year. What's happened this week is that Donald Trump in a press conference on Tuesday afternoon, uh, building off of what one of his co-defendants said in a court filing accused Fonnie Willis of having an inappropriate affair with one of her fellow prosecutors who was also working on the case. Well, after Donald Trump did this, Marjorie Taylor Greene, in her ongoing quest to save Donald Trump from accountability, filed a criminal complaint. She actually issued a criminal referral for Fonnie Willis to Brian Kemp, the Republican governor of the state of Georgia, along with, of course, the secretary of state. And in her letter saying that Fonnie Willis is apparently a criminal, Marjorie Taylor Greene said this. Fonnie Willis faces serious allegations that she illegally hired her secret boyfriend, Nathan Wade, who has never tried a felony case as her special prosecutor to bring an unprecedented complex and partisan felony RICO prosecution against President Trump, the leading presidential contender for 2024, along with 18 co-defendants. Despite this obviously illegal conflict of interest, Fonnie Willis has allegedly paid Nathan Wade nearly 700,000 in official funds. This includes a multiple, a multitude of vague block billings for eight hours. And as a lawyer publicized, even one billing for 24 hours on on a single day with the vague description, prepared cases for pre-trial. She goes on to suggest that Willis may have committed foul play for receiving quote, illegal kickbacks, including lavish domestic and international trips paid for with misappropriated government funds. It's alleged that Fonnie Willis and this other prosecutor uh, took trips to Napa Valley and they took a trip down to the Caribbean. And as Marjorie Taylor Greene says in her letter, they, they may have done this with misappropriated government funds which by the way, is actually a pretty easy thing for the government of Georgia to look at and see if it actually did happen, right? Did you get charged for a plane trip to Napa Valley? Did you get charged for a plane trip to the Caribbean? I mean, y'all ought to be able to go through and see those receipts right there. Were there big purchases from Fonnie Willis's office for plane tickets? I mean, if there were, then maybe there's something to this. If there's not, then this is just another attempt by Donald Trump and his deranged allies like Marjorie Taylor Greene to try to delay this trial and to slander Fonnie Willis. Now, here's the thing, as I pointed out earlier in this week, if Fonnie Willis was in fact having a sexual relationship of any kind with this fellow prosecutor, okay. So like that, that literally changes none of the facts of the case. It doesn't change the fact that it was the grand jury that voted to bring these charges. They voted on the charges. They voted to bring the charges. Like that's not Fonnie Willis and her maybe, maybe not boyfriend doing that. So her having a relationship with another prosecutor working on this case, even somebody that she hired, it's not illegal. It, it, it may be unethical, but it doesn't change any of the facts of this case. It doesn't change what the grand jury saw. It doesn't change any of the evidence should have no bearing on this case whatsoever. Now, if, if she did do it again, it's definitely going to look bad. That is not going to help her at all, but it doesn't change the facts of the case. Now, if she did use government funds to go on trips, suddenly then you're looking at a very real problem. Absolutely. Not going to deny that. Like she should be removed if she did that. But right now, even as Marjorie Taylor Greene admits, these are nothing but allegations. Allegations, by the way, that nobody has produced a single shred of evidence to support. Marjorie Taylor Greene sends her criminal referral to the government of Georgia without providing any evidence. She's like, hey, people have said this. Some people have said that. Okay, people say things. You, you can probably find videos of the internet of any person saying any given thing that you want to hear. That doesn't make it true. If the state of Georgia wants to launch an investigation into this, I'm fine. If they find criminal wrongdoing on behalf of Fonnie Willis's part, remove her from office. Like, I'm not going to sit there and say that if she did something wrong, she shouldn't be held accountable. She should be just like Donald Trump. But the underlying fact that Republicans seem to be forgetting is that none of this changes the facts of the case and none of it should have any bearing on the indictments and the upcoming trials. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena. 
And Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to Fair and Balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down. Subscribe today.